The bangers continue. Thank you for the bits. Oh, the forests of timber sure has changed. But the Moogles are still here. Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me, sir. On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. You can literally hear his dog barking in the pet shop. What, what do you mean they went on vacation? They just like left the dog in there and went on vacation? The heck? <laughs> please, please, this way, sir. piano solo. I love it. Bum, bum, bum. So, you guys are seeds! What? Zone? Why are you puffing your chest out like that? I'm the squall leader. Or, the squall leader. I'm the squad leader. Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the forest owls. Nice hand. And then Zell <laughs> God, the humor in this game. I love it. Zell puts out his hand. So, let's get on with it. What do we do? Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. I guess it's just our princess, then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. Aw, oh, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of the other guys are in the room on the way. Ask them if you get lost. We were hired to run errands? Well? Are you angry? We're not gophers. We're seed special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ouch! These guys don't seem to have it together. Squall, way to go! You tell them! They can't treat us that way! Thanks for the reinforcement, Selfie. This part is really weird. I have no idea why he's like, you go get the princess. I guess he just didn't want to deal with her. <laughs> Do you always sit like that, or...? The sound of the train moving, it's so relaxing. That's true. But once you meet her, I, I guess it kind of makes sense, huh? Look at this. This room cracks me up. The train is just like this beat down, like every room looks like the inside of a train, Then her room is like, it's like you took it out of a castle, took it out of a mansion and just plopped it here. That bed looks incredibly uncomfortable though. Hey, you're, you know, from the party. So, does that mean 
You're a seed? Jam, by the way. I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes! Seed is here! Take it easy. It's just that... It's just that... Whoa! I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh. So you were looking for the headmaster at that party? You know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one that introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us, but after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Yeah, because he knew he, who he was sending. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Thanks for the whole Siri. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go! Um, Squall? Is he here? He? Cypher? No, he's not a seed. Oh. Oh yeah, my name's... Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at the dan at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected to Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. That's why it looked like a Disney movie. That's too bad. <laughs> Doggo just plops in. Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. <laughs> Look, it's ammo. <laughs> smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Aww. Isn't there something in here? I could have swore there was. Maybe not. Under the bed? Sad doge. Eh, maybe not. The song is so good. Oh god! Squall looks like he has one big eye. It's like Cyclops. <laughs> Looking for orthopedic undies, yeah. I was going to say something, I forget what it was. Oh! There's not many character interactions that I like in this game. But one that I do really like is uh, Renoa and Squall's interactions early on in the game. I think it's really relatable, and it, like, connects to the whole high school thing. When you start the game, you get all these kind of, like, high school vibes of, like, bullies and having to listen to your teacher and having to do what you're told and all this stuff, you know? And so you get all these kind of, like, high school vibes. And I feel like they did a good job connecting that to Renoa because having, having to be with a girl who has a crush on someone else, especially someone that you hate, is like mega relatable. <laughs> like super duper relatable. Having to be around people that you like, but knowing that they like someone else is like super high school relatability. So uh, I always thought that was cool. Like a really cool dynamic where the whole beginning of the game, she's like fawning over Cypher and you're like, but we had that dance. So I always thought that was nice. That's one of the interactions I really like. Figured I'd point it out, because there's not many I like, so yeah, point out the ones I do like. I feel like there's... Hmm. 
Whatever. This is Zell. And Selfie. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, everyone. This way. I can't help the feeling that there's something missable in this train. Did you see the clipping on the board in the conference room? Anarchist Monthly used to write special reports about the president. I saw the guy who wrote that on that magazine for that magazine being taken away to prison. Being in prison for telling the truth, that's downright wrong. The Forest Owls are... Watson Zone's fathers founded the Forest Owls. What was it? <laughs> It sounded like he was going to go into some, like, big... Oh, here we go. You have to keep talking. 18 years ago, on the day before the big invasion, there was an all-out hunt for resistance members. Watson's own father both died to protect everyone in the city. Gabani and soldiers sought them in front of everyone as a warning. Everybody looked away as they were executed, but Watson's own were watching. They saw the whole thing. Daling glared down at the two of them like they were dirty rats. He had just become president, so, to show his power, he took a soldier's gun and shot their father's already dead bodies. From that day on, they decided to carry on with their father's work as forest owls. I decided to become a member after hearing that story. I mean, yeah. We may look like a bunch of jokers to you guys, but we have our story—we all have our stories, so try to understand, eh? When it all comes down to it, we get the job done. Still, we've got a long ways to go to live up to our two founding fathers. Literal fo founding fathers. <laughs> we got the jam again. What's the worst part of any Final Fantasy game and why is it always the prison sequence, dude? I agree. Just in any way you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance, the Forest Isles, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? So this is my favorite part of the game. Um, I used to play this game when I was a kid, up to this point, play this mission, and then reset, and play this mission over and over. I, I don't think it's, like, the best thing ever. Like, I'm not trying to say it's one of the best Final Fantasy sequences of all time or anything. But I just have, like, a personal connection to this mission i don't know what it is but i think we all had like that one thing that they that we loved as a kid that we play over and over regardless of how good it was and this is it for me i used to just play it over and over it all started when we got a hold of a top secret info from galbadia i got the info sir there's a vip from galbadia coming to timber super vip the guy's name is vinzer daling our arc enemy and the president of galbadia vinzer daling is a scoundrel He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Daling is taking a private train from the Galbanian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Ah, not quite. <laughs> so get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? I really wish there was more stuff like this in the game. First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it. We're riding in it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it we made it to look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dayling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president and his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to the tim to timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm gonna go going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Step one: sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from the dummy car. Two: proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the one only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. 
Three, proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Daling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Four, uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Five, have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, while well, the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. This is so cool. Six, uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Seven, escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Dayling. How does the last car get recoupled? Did they ever explain that? Or maybe it just doesn't. Maybe it just drives off. I don't know. <laughs> we have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor. We must move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying this sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the window below, sir. So, exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there's a blue guard below you. Run if there's a red guard below you. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question! How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Uh, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have the codes. Renella has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now, I'll need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 and 4, and the four digits, 2, 3, 4, 1, is an example. For the keypad, won't have numbers. Instead, it'll have four buttons. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push square circle S triangle in that order. Now, to be quick and precise, you'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, you have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes, and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. One, two, four, two. You got it? In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Renault made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred toward Dayling. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? <laughs> Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? <laughs> I love just the no reason. <laughs> Being a jerk to Renoa for no reason. <laughs> I love the pause too, where it's like, it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. What's the sign on the party? Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ah, my stomach! 
We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Come on, yes, Director. President Bazing Dailing Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. President Dailing became the president after the Second Sorceress War ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to de decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. Our land, Timber, was brutally destroyed. Hate to see it. Is that a fridge? To imprison anti-government sympathizers, the D-District prison was built in the desert south of Dayling City. Millions were spent to build the facility. The threat of being sent to the prison intensified Dayling's unpopularity. The prison began imprisoning Galbani and anti-government sympathizers just as they did in Timber. Moreover, the leaders of the resistance movement faced the threat of having family members imprisoned as well. Around this time, Dayling began surrounding himself only with the loyalists, which turned him into an even more fierce dictator. <laughs> Trade missions are always doomed. You're not wrong. I don't think there's anything else here, but go say hi to Doggo again. Oh, here we go. That's that's where the book is. I knew there was something in here. I knew it. I didn't mean to do that. Dang it! Wait, how do I have... Zell! What happened? Why'd you lose your... <laughs> Why'd you lose your junction? Dysfunction junction, what's your problem? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Holy cow, look at that spirit. Uh, also, I believe you have an ability now. Oh, no, nope, I guess not. Oh, you do. Do you have... Do you have Siren? I don't want you to have Siren. Where's all your magic? Good lord. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, life is slightly good in the HP slot. Status attack. Sleep, I guess. Good. 
probably gonna switch to Renoa anyways. I feel like I usually use Renoa, so I might try not to. I don't know, I'd like to have Renoa in our party for the story though. But I think I used Renoa in Selfie in one of my other playthroughs. I don't know. Yo, Bahamut. Thank you for the two gifted subs, man. Appreciate it. I don't know if I really have a favorite party. I feel like I like using Renoa, and I feel like I like using Selfie. I feel like that was usually my party. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look. See, it's like a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you, sir. Are you ready, sir? Here we go. Another, yet another jam. Squall, over here! We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try to use every second. That jump. Squall, over here! Yeah. Ah. This is the President's car. After we get across, we'll proceed to the first uncoupling. So we... I just ran past without them even activating the sensors. I don't remember that. <laughs> I guess you'll yeah, I guess you only have to do the sensors like the second time you go over the car. I don't remember. Sir, everything is in order, sir! You again? That's twenty-seven times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb you with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'm going to have to put it off again. This is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like Watts said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the guards. Let us know early if you see them coming. All right, I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take red. The red guard is closer. Squall, you might want to keep an eye on him too. Hold on L1 to look to your left and release it to go back. Okay, you ready to enter the codes? You remember everything, right? I'll have to enter three codes to disable the circuit for this uncoupling. Okay, Squall, get the cable ready. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down on the directional button to go down. Come back up, press up. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. Okay, let's do it. We have four minutes left. Good luck, Squall. Two, two, three, four. Yo, the blue. I wasn't paying attention. So I was trying to go up. Thank you so much, Don Yane Elevated. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. 2442. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hard code. This movie's pretty cool.
I mean, come on. How is this not like the cool? Like, look at this. I don't know, man. This just blew me away when I was a kid. Felt like I was playing. Felt like I was playing like James Bond fantasy. It's like so cool. What an awesome section. Yo, Lenning, thank you for the 1,564 bits. Hey, Death, hope you're doing well. Thanks for the amazing Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Help me keep sane during a weird junction of my life. Hey, man. I hope everything's going better now. Thanks so much for being here. I'm glad I could help. What should I do? I know he's not going to like it, but it's my job. Uh, sir! Everything is in order, sir! Huh. He's not angry. Phew, that's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. S sir, aye, aye, sir. You! Don't just stand there. Get back to your station. Sir, yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. Whoa, what the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring, and now no more candlelight dinner. I'm never gonna be able to get married. Yo, Shadow, thank you for the 15 months. Such a great community and glad to still be here and be part of it. Thanks for all the great content and good times, Steph. Thank you, Shadow. Appreciate it, my man. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards in this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead, working on uncoupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side to do this hold down R1. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I forgot. Are you ready, Squall? Two, three, one, one. Three, four, three, four. Three, three, two, one. Four, 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 two. Going for it. Two, two, one, three. More epic FMB. See you later, nerds. So I guess this one just auto-couples because of the, the computer. So yeah. Flawless. Flawless victory. Well, they did say there's like a, a mechanism that does the uncoupling, so it does kind of make sense. I mean... It would have to be pretty smart to know like that other train had to speed up to catch up, but hey, I'll I'll believe it. <laughs> but yeah, man, that part is so cool. I love it, and and what a great like stressful puzzle. You know, it's not something like I don't know. A lot of the mini games. In RPGs, it's just like a really brain dead, like just smash a button or whatever. Like, even the train mission in seven, I mean, you just mash the buttons and then run up the train. But here, it's such a great, like, you have to put in the codes. We also have to watch what's going on to your right, but then there's also a time limit. And, like, you have to actually listen to what she says and remember the codes, but then also look at the guards. Like, it's, it's a great, really great challenge. I don't remember what happens if you fail it. 
I don't I don't think it's a game over. Maybe it is, I don't remember. But uh yeah, always, always love this part. Finally, we've waited so long for this encounter with Binzer. Was that perfect, sir? Amazing, sir! You're the best, sir! Your seed rank went up by one. Yeah. Well then. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. Ugh. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations. Better make sure my GF's equipped. So... I don't think we have to equip Granola. So I think we're good. Better call my girlfriend. <laughs> ah, the negotiator. Yeah, don't worry, guys. This negotiation's gonna go great. Hey, don't you want to know how Renault and Cypher know each other? I just joined the forest aisle, so I don't really know everything yet. No one would tell me. Why is that? The mystery is killing me. I like how they have nothing to say about the fact that the mission was a success and the president is literally the next car. They all just still say the same thing. Oh, that's right. We have to talk to Renault. I just got paid. While on my mission. <laughs> the mystery of his arms is killing me. We'll never know why he sits like that. President Daling! As long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? Exclamation marks. What's wrong? Boo-hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Emma. Cheers. Ah, my butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady. Ah, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? You don't. You, why don't you tell me? Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the... President. Why is he talking in the SpongeBob meme font? Because he's a zombie. Ooh. Zambino, you fell for it. He's eating me. Brains. Let's cure him and see what happens. I don't know if it works before he turns. Nope. Amusing. This is amusing. 69 damage, nice.
That's not my president. It's Sephiroth. What the? Oh my god, I forgot he has double. Are you kidding me? We're gonna be here a minute. Oh no, I'm a zombie! Selfie's cursed. I think curse means you can't use limits, if I remember correctly. And then there's aura, which makes limits, like, happen more often. It's like the reverse. I don't know what Zell has. Slow, I think. Yeah, the real, the real pro strat. Oh, he, he gave Squall silence right before I cast here. Um, the real pro strat is put life on HP early. Because uh, Selfie has 800 HP, so her yellow health is like actually kind of high. that he does all these uh, status effects, but he has a Suna on his table. So it's like, <laughs> just draw it and you win. Hey, can you stop? This fight is kind of annoying to draw for, but we got Asuna. Uh, nope, blind does nothing to Squall, which is kind of funny. Him some cool black fog. Makes him look more epic. Does blind make his attack do less damage? Maybe. I never heard that though, but it's possible. I just don't know about it. Brog. That was a nice. Hmm. 
don't know how much Berserk I want. I want some Zombie. Well, I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> you guys gonna fight this thing or what? Nope, oh, just getting stronger for later. Don't worry about it. You like this part of the song? You mean the whole thing? Me too. See you, Jolly. Brog. All right. You draw some more double. You draw some more double. You start curing the zombie. curious to see how much damage Selfie's cure does, because she has the magic boost now from Siren. Probably gonna do big damage. How dare you. You're the best looking zombie here. Feel the pain. Oh, yeah. How'd that feel? How do you still have barrier? I feel like the game can barely handle me double casting cure. <laughs> it like slows down a bit every time I do it. Cure is just too powerful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the typical throw a phoenix down, win the fight fight. That's in like every Final Fantasy somewhere. By the way, that is one thing that I like. I like that you can um, customize your actions because it makes the item command not broken. Like almost every Final Fantasy, the item command is like really powerful because you could just have this huge backlog of items you've been saving all game and you probably have like 20 elixirs you can throw for full heals and stuff. So like by design, the item command is a bit overpowered. Uh, but in this game, you do have to select the item command instead of another command. So there is that, like, give and take. Like, yeah, you get the item command, but then you lose a spot for something else, you know? So, uh, I like that. 
it, and it also just so happens that items aren't great in this game anyways, but yeah, like if you... I, I almost feel like in other Final Fantasies, like Final Fantasy 7, it would have been nice to have some kind of give or take with items. Like, yeah, you can use items, but... I don't know. You have to equip less materia to have the item command or something. I don't know. It, it would be weird to make it work, but... Because items just kind of inherently are super strong by the end of the game, because everyone always hoards items. You just have way too many items. And it, it makes... So, like... Especially in, in some of the older games, items always felt really broken because the whole idea behind an RPG party is you have, like, damage dealers and healers. So you have, like, a black mage and a warrior, and then you have a white mage. And your white mage is supposed to be the healer. But the problem is, with an item command, everyone's a healer. They just, <laughs> just buy potions, and everyone's a healer. So it kind of gets rid of the whole purpose of a white mage sometimes. Especially near the end of the game. Um, but the old Final Fantasies kind of throw that out the window anyways. Because in a lot of the old Final Fantasies, everyone can learn white magic at some point. Because you can swap roles and stuff. So then you just make everyone a white mage and win because everyone can heal. But yeah. Basically, item command makes everyone a white mage. And sometimes that can be a bit too strong. So it's cool that there's at least some kind of give or take in this game. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. No info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in timber? Also, what happened to Watts' arms? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalit, the Dalit communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Dalit is a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves that had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. What I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? I feel like I'm watching an AT&T commercial. Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What could it be? Counterpoint, everyone has an item command in Final Fantasy IV and Rosa is still busted. True. <laughs> also, I missed that because it auto-skipped. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. I hate when games do that. Every single box in this whole conversation, I had to skip, but that one was auto-skip and I missed it. <laughs> it's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Yeah, what did she say? It was funny, and I missed it. Can you guys give us a minute? Oh, was that the line where she's like, why don't we all just get along? Or something. <laughs> they call that a strategy meeting? Can't we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? Oh, yeah. Everyone love and peace. And and has an exclamation mark. <laughs> For some reason. Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. Yeah, auto dialogue is annoying pretty much in every circumstance. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereby referred to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referring to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall, op C shall, that's hard to say. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. <laughs> 
It's like the goofiest thing ever. <laughs> and I love the way he grabs it. It gets me every time. <laughs> she flips it out there. She's like, give me that. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? To the forest owls. This seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best of your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Yeah. If we weren't already suspicious, that line is a bit suspicious. No replacement of any seed members can be made. Until Timber's independence? That is so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals. No complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ah, oh, my stomach. So, of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station will be... being difficult. Alright, can we do this correctly without screwing up? Probably not. Wait, what even is... I don't even know what Renoa has. I don't even know what her purpose is. I guess... I guess strength. I guess. <laughs> Me neither. No one knows. She seems kind of balanced, honestly. Like, okay damage, okay magic. I don't know. I, I thought she... I thought she leaned a bit towards magic, actually. Okay. All right, we did it right, right? And screw it up. She has TBN. Also, I gotta read. I gotta read the magazines. I think. Angelo strike. Angelo recover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interceptor to Angelo. You summon the dog. That is her purpose. The TV station, sir? It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Best of luck, sir. I'll be keeping watch here. A guy dressed as a cadet, gathering information... He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to anybody and... <clears throat> These are citizens. We can't inflict any... How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to the Galbanian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw them sad behinds in jail.
Please. Hear me out. To the very end. <laughs> I don't think they heard you out. See you, soldier. They go. Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on! The Guardian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the Owl's Tier, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess we won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't leave me, sir! <laughs> How is Watts gonna catch that train? Also, I forgot there's fights in here. Yo, B train, leave with 15 months. The four eights of timber sure have changed, but I'm still around. Nice meme. Meme appreciated. Yep, we have an all girl team. Renoa, Squall. Renoa, Squalina, and Selfie. See the third one. They're gonna have a pillow fight later in s'mores. Listen, I don't, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but I think uh, I think I have a slight misunderstanding of what girls do. Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually, the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. You mean pain? That'd be a nice mod. It's gonna mod where pain's in the game instead of squall. The game doesn't change at all. Yeah, so this is kind of how the game goes. I get to every store and I can't make any weapons ever. Also, why would I make a pinwheel when she already has a pinwheel? So this girl looks like she's T-posing. Excuse me. This model looks really good. Quite some craftsmanship. Don't you think? Better than Renault's? <laughs> That's so mean. I worked really hard on mine. Just kidding. When someone says they're kidding, it's usually half true. Squall? Oh, um, it's just a saying, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> still, still savage. How's it going, Marsh? So, I don't know why, but I always remember using the, uh, the lamp, the lamp here. For some reason, I always waited for this spot to use the lamp. I always remember that. Also, Welcome! Reservations are taken at the counter! Gady gets mad if you go in without paying. Who puts a railroad gate in their hotel? I will say Gady is a pretty cute name, though.
Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, well, dead meat. Hee hee hee. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. Yeah, I mean, that's a little over the top, don't you think? 